Hello and welcome to another Practical IT video. In the last video, we took a backup using RescueZilla of a virtual machine that I'd created in VirtualBox. In this episode, we are going to restore that backup and we're gonna start right from scratch. We're gonna create a new virtual machine and go through the process here. Debian. Fine. And I know that disk is 20 gigabytes. We'll give it a little extra space at 25. And we'll go into settings. And it's not Fedora, I chose Debian. Okay, so we want to change networking to bridged. And for storage, we want to select our RescueZilla ISO. Save that, and we're gonna go ahead and start. So again, this will boot up from the RescueZilla ISO. And we're basically going to do the opposite process. So instead of doing backup, we're going to do a restore. All right, here we go. We should be just about booted up. Just waiting for the graphical interface to come up. All right, restore. And we're going to restore over a network drive. Enter the same IP address we used before. And next, we're going to select our VM backup demo and say open and open again. Next, restore to the VirtualBox hard disk. Next, yes, it's going to overwrite everything. And then we just wait for the restore to happen. And with the power of video editing, We'll come back in just a moment when we're at the end of this. All right, and two minutes later, we have restored our virtual machine. Say okay, exit, and we're gonna shut down. I'll be right back after we get back to our VirtualBox screen. All right, we are back at the VirtualBox screen and we're just going to double check our settings and make sure that our virtual optical drive is free. And we will go ahead and boot up our VM and see if we have a working restore. Alrighty, we have successfully completed our boot of our cloned machine. And the system is up and running. And that, my friends, will bring us to the end of another Practical IT video. If you like the video, please take a moment, leave a thumbs up, click the bell for notifications, subscribe, and feel free to leave comments down below. Thank you once again for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Stay safe, happy computing, and have a great day.